Hello all, this video is on sending data to a distant server on TCP IP protocol using GSM and Arduino. To begin with, we need to start a server using socket test software. It is simple to start server, just click the server tab and then feed in port number say 350 and click start listening. Now the server is started on port 350 and starts listening. To verify the server running, we have a couple of test methods. One is the advanced port scanner. Open the advanced port scanner, feed in the IP range and port range to scan. The scanner will detect the ports. Here you can see the port 350 is detected on TCP protocol. Next step is to note the IP address of PC as well as the router. For this, run CMD and then type in IP config. The gateway address here is 192.168.1.1 which is the router's IP and 192.168.1.150 is the IPv4 of my PC's network. This is my network scenario. The router is connected to broadband service provider which allows a public IP to the network. My PC is connected to the router over Wi-Fi and the router has allotted the IP 192.168.1.150 to my PC. For local testing, open the PuTTY software, select RAW as connection type and host IP as 192.168.150. Feed in the port number as 350 where server is started. Bring up the socket test window and then click OK on PuTTY. New client connected message is seen on server window. Now you can type in message on PuTTY window which is the client now. This message appears on server. You can reply from server which then appears on client. The client is PuTTY and uh, the socket test is the server. Close the PuTTY and you can see client disconnected message on the server. For external world to communicate with this port, we need to uh, set up two things. First is Windows firewall setting. Open the Windows firewall settings and click on inbound new rule. Select the rule type as port, protocol is TCP, port number is 350 and then allow connection. Provide a name and then save it. Now the Windows firewall allows the 350, port number 350 uh, to listen. The second is the port forwarding uh, which is important method. For this type in a gateway IP in your browser. Here it is 192.168.1.1. Provide the username and password of your router to enter the settings. The port forwarding is to be done under virtual server. In my router it is under advanced setup NAT and then virtual server. Under virtual server setting enter the protocol as TCP and wherever port number is asked enter 350 the start and end everything is the same port number 350 enter the IP address as uh, the local IP of your PC here it is 192.168.1.150 wherever port number is asked enter 350 and then save the setting now the port forwarding rule is set. To test whether the port 350 is open to public, go to canyouseeme.org website from your distant PC. The website automatically displays your public IP. Feed in the port number and then click check port. If you see success, then you are done with the port forwarding. Now let us test the TCP IP 80 commands related with SIM 900A. For this an USB to TTL module is required to connect with the PC. 
the Tx of GSM goes to Rx of USB module and Rx goes to Tx. Ground is common. Open the serial terminal and select the port allotted to the USB module and baud rate is selected as 9600. If you type in AT and click send with carriage written uh, on, you get OK response. AT plus CG ATT equal to 1 attaches the GPRS and AT plus CIP max equal to 0 sets the IP for single connection mode. Next command is setting the access point name using AT plus CSTT. My APN here is uh, BSNL net and uh, username and password both are empty. You can find your APN details by placing the SIM on your Android phone. Under settings more cellular networks you find this APN details. AT plus CSTT and uh, the APN is BSNL net and uh, username and password both are empty. AT plus CIICR C -I -I -C will set the wireless communication. AT plus CIFSR returns the IP address allotted by the GPRS to the GSM. Now note the public IP address of your PC's network where the server is started. We will use this public IP address in the AT command AT plus CIP start. For this AT command the parameters are TCP the public IP and then the port number to access AT plus CIP start equal to TCP IP address and port number all parameters to be within double quotes if you miss the double quote it will give error now in the uh, socket test server window you get new client connected message connection is established the IP address of client is also uh, displayed in the message. To send data, use the AT plus CIP send command. The modem waits for the message. Feed in the message and then send control Z. Control Z is sent using hex 1A. Now the message is received at the server window. Similarly, from server side, you can type in some message and click send. It will be received at the client, that is GSM modem side. Now let us see how to implement these AT commands for sending LM35 data using Arduino. Three wires are connected between GSM and Arduino. The GSM requires an external power source of uh, 12 volt 1 ampere. The first pin of LM35 is connected to 5 volt of Arduino and the third pin to ground. Center pin of LM35 is signal out that is connected to A0 of Arduino. As we use soft uh, serial library in Arduino code, pin 7 and 8 are declared as soft serial RX and TX pins. These pins are uh, connected to GSM. Open the socket test and then select server. Enter the port number as 350 and uh, click start listening. At the GSM side, upload the code to Arduino. Open the serial monitor to watch the AT commands in action. Once the AT plus CAP start command is sent with parameters TCP, public IP address and then the target port number, 
you get new client connected message on the server side after connection is established the lm35 temperature data is read from the a0 pin and is sent it is displayed on the server thank you for watching